Hello and welcome back to StarCraft. As today we're going to be showing off this week's weekly uh, weekly brawl. So we have brand new mutations for us to us to abuse and use. So first off, we have the Accord. So the middle income bonus is removed. That means that, yes, I'm going to be building some units. No, I don't actually expect to need to use them much. But next up, we have the Hills Cantina, which means we may purchase Terran mercenary units. These are uh, like standard style units, Marines, Marauders, Banshees. Uh, the the uh, Marauder, these are the mercenaries that you get in the Wings of Liberty campaign. And last up, we have uh, hybrid mercenaries. We may purchase single use mercenary units. Now there's a pretty, pretty significant significant difference between these two. Uh, the first, the Hills Cantina. Uh, these are permanent additions to your team. If I were to put this war pig down, it's just basically a supermarine. Uh, it, it's, it just, it's just there, and that lives with us now. So that means that we can have some uh, extra support for a lot of commanders. Uh, for example, the Tychus commander can now have a bunch of tiny, tiny marines running around, which is kind of good. The next up is the Mobius cap capsule. Uh, that one, these are temporary mercs that they only last for one wave. And uh, every time you put them down, they're all the hybrid mercenaries. If we were to put it down, it would give, it would just exist for one wave, and that is the end of that. So we're going to be uh, using a lot of those. Now, if you notice, there's not a whole lot of action going on here, and that's because there's not a whole lot of reason to have action just yet. Without the middle bonus, there's no penalty to just sitting back and teching up, aside from uh, my opponents walking across and slaughtering us, but, on the, but in, in lieu of them doing that, we don't have that issue. So I'm just going to spend time trying to tech up, get all the mercenaries as possible, and see what kind of damage we can deal. Now there's a very particular reason that I've chosen the Rainer Commander for this, and uh, I'll get around to that in a moment. But for now, let's just go ahead and carry on. You can see here the uh, War Pig next to the Elite Marines. The Elite Marines are better, uh, at least better than the War Pigs, but the War Pigs are still far better than my Standard Marines. Not that I'm planning on building a whole lot of Standard Marines around here. Alright, so we've already maxed our energy generation, which will give us the best, uh, best mercenaries possible, or at least the most amount. And the reason I'm going to tech two here, uh, for at least this group, is the hybrid reaver. Because the mercenaries, the hybrid mercenaries, they actually give you minerals every time you put them down. And the hybrid reaver is the best mineral value, so to speak. Because it costs 300 energy, gives you 65 minerals, and that's the best, best ratio. Now, a lot of times, people will just say, hey, uh, for the Mobius capsule mercenaries, the hybrid mercenaries, the best thing you should do is just save them up until you have, like, 2,000 energy and then dump a bunch of hybrid behemoths down. And honestly, that is a really good strategy, but not the strategy I'm going for. This time, I'm going to find, uh, well, I'm going to be spending as much of that energy as possible to convert it into resources. That way, I can get, uh, get a victory by slow grind rather than single push. Well, we're going to be using the Hills Cantina Mercenaries to help us with that. So, the Siege Breaker. A lot of you guys may recognize this. Not too big of a surprise, considering it's, it's not a new unit. It's been around since Wings of Liberty. In fact, it has the Wings of Liberty balance effects on it. That means that these Siege Cannons, when si in Siege Mode, deal 100 damage and splash nearby. No difference between armored or unarmored. It's all the same. That means they haven't been nerfed. That's right, these are pre-nerf siege tanks. And boy, do they leave a big mark. Look at this, 100 damage, just one shots these Reapers and everything else. Like these standard siege tanks, let me see if I can put one, uh, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna show me the, the siege damage on it. But the standard siege tanks, well, they, um, they don't deal as much damage to light or anything else that isn't armored, in fact. The Siege Tanks standard deal extra damage to armored units. Everything else just doesn't deal all that much damage. I mean, there's still Siege Tanks, they still hurt. But you know what? It's it's not as it's not as destructive as literally 100 damage to everything. Ah, <sighs> and I can't wait to have a whole mess of them. So um, I'm I'm because I'm facing a Hunt and Horner, I'm actually going to start building building Vikings here. Uh, there are a couple other mercenary options that are quite good. The, the Hell's Angels, they're they're alright. They're just better Vikings. I mean, they don't have the splash damage of the Raynor Vikings, so... Eh, kind of mediocre. At least when Raynor exists. Now, of course, if we were to mix this in with Tychus, you could have Tychus with Vikings. That would just be disgusting. I might actually want to try that soon. But yeah, we've already got the Han and Horner aircraft coming out here. I'm gonna need to, I need to start pumping out these, these Vikings even faster here. Scan. 
Ah, oh, that's we're gonna lose that wave horribly. Okay, here we go. I just need to start pumping out those Vikings as much as possible. I'm just gonna keep spending on siege tanks. So another interesting thing is that when I got the siege speed upgrade, it also increases the uh, the speed the sieging speed of these these siege breakers. So now these siege breakers don't have their normal super long siege time. They have the siege time of a Raynor tank, which is kind of kind of ridiculously fast. So we're gonna be uh, gonna be using that a lot. Just, just get a walk up in their face and insta siege and slaughter them with these massive, heavy hitting, massive heavy hitting siege rounds. Okay, yeah, banshees. I see what you're going for there. Uh, let's. We already spawned our wave, so let me go ahead and get these guys going. Right. Don't have anything here? Rainer scans are free, so I don't mind just kind of using them. There we go. All right. Vikings, try to do your damage. Now these are dusk wings. Um, they, uh, not normally available to Han and Horner players, but through the power of, oh, are we going to run a scan time here? Oh, we are. Oh, that's a rip. Okay. Should have spaced those out a little bit better. Uh, due to the power of mercenaries, Han and Horner now has access to those. Uh, they are literally the same Duskwings that I have access to as standard Rainer. So, that they're quite good. They're actually very, very good. This is not the unit I wanted to spawn in. I wanted you. There we go. Nice. Do you have these good to go? Let's go ahead and drop this here. Uh, still, let I me mean, hotkey these. That way I don't have to... There we go. Perfect. Don't have to hunch for them every time I want to build it. And uh, I, I could... I could get those. I don't I don't really want to. Uh, because I have I have Vikings. And also Siege Shakes. Like, see how... Oh, this isn't a Siege Breaker. This is a Siege Breaker. Look how long it takes to Siege normally. Oh, it's so painful. That does hit really hard, though. But look how fast these siege when they start sieging here. I need to scan because Rainer doesn't have others, other options. And... Boom! Siege and shelling. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I like this. Rainer is super strong here. Let me scan this so we don't lose eyesight. Uh, we're not quite at critical mass just yet. Those, uh... Those... Those, those rays have so much HP. Okay. I, I am going to be keeping all of my Vikings in this one corner. That way they all try to target the same side, or at least like the same-ish units all at once. Here are the mercenary Vikings. They, ha they have so much more HP and damage than my Vikings. But my Vikings have splash, and that's all that really matters. Gonna dump you down. Put you here. Very good. Use that. Use that hybrid to fund another Viking. There we go. We'll go ahead and get the upgrades here. For maximum damage output. Now, the one thing I'm really concerned about are those Widow Mines. Uh, if those Widow Mines get on top of us, we are going to be going to be losing a lot of our grouped up units here. So I don't I don't want that to happen. Just got to be careful of that we're going to be okay. Get the scan in here. That way my Vikings don't try to land. There we go. Now, where are those Widow Mines coming from? Probably from the... Uh, yeah, it looks like it just spawned out of the Gion. Fortunately, the siege tanks kind of one-shot them, so that's not a big deal. There we go. And the siege tanks are shelling everything on the ground into into the oblivion. Very nice. Yeah, these these super Vikings, they don't have splash damage, so they're not nearly as strong as our regular Vikings, but they do have... Oh, they, they do so much more work. Oh, they do so much more work. At least versus single targets. Okay. So now we've got 2-2 two, two upgrades. And that'll help out our Vikings, and also increase the damage of our... Siege breakers here. Oh, one interesting note. Uh, Carex. Carex? Not Carex. Swan. Swan in this mode uh, does have the extra single target damage for siege tanks, which means that when you get it, the siege breakers here, they kind of deal 140 damage base, which is a lot, and then it's it's plus 10 per upgrade, so they get up to 170 damage per shot with their siege tanks, which is just uh, it's absolutely absurd, is what it is. It's absolutely absurd. I, I don't I don't know how you deal. Did he switch out all of his? Yeah, he switched out all of his raids with uh, Vikings, which is probably for the best, uh, at least for him. Not that it's gonna save his Vikings once they get it to this guy. Uh, yes, the Han and Horner Vikings do beat my Vikings one for one. Uh, they actually beat it like on a on a one for two ratio, but eventually mine with their splash damage will scale far far faster and uh, win out in the end. So I'm just gonna keep making sure that I have a lot of those. And how are these guys doing? Go ahead and get this going. And another Siege Breaker here. Nice. We've already got max gas. There we go. Beautiful. So now I just gotta look out for the ground forces. Um, I haven't really been paying that much attention to the ground forces. Siege Tank's just been kind of doing work. 
I don't think my marauders have really done much other than just existed for the sake of dying. Okay, I'm, what I'm going to do is disable your assault mode, that way you don't try landing. Yeah, we're, we're definitely at the critical mass where we can get rid of uh, marauders pretty easily. Did he put race back? Or did they just die so fast I didn't notice them the last time? Uh, both are possibilities. He's got so much stealth, guys. Oh, yeah. Just one volley taking out five five of those Duskwing Banshees. Oh, it's so nice. And are we going to clear these guys as well? Probably. Because uh, he has a lot of air. Like, all of his things, except for his couple of Siege Breakers, can be shot by air. So he's going to lose it all. Oh, he did have a couple of Immortals in there. Oh, well, those are going to disappear anyways. Go ahead and enable ground mode again. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep up with this. There we go. And I can start getting dusk wings myself. Just our standard dusk wings, I think. Let me go ahead and get the concussive shell upgrade. Ooh, also the postponed range. There we are. Nice. Uh, what else do I need here? Another hybrid. That'll disappear once the wave spawns. But it does give me 65 minerals, which I can use to fund. Dusk wings! Nice. So whereas they are paying for dusk wings here... I just kind of purchased it with minerals. Good old fashioned minerals. Make sure the scan is up, that way we don't die to rays that are invisible. Uh, looks like they had a bit of a stack here. Okay, uh, that's cue for me to get more more raves. If we're not able to forcefully unstack them, then I don't have enough raves. I will be this team's air superiority and just guarantee air superiority every time. Let's see, 21 damage, 2 attacks, 1.21, yeah, yeah, 1.43, sorry. Now let's do some good work. It's not a, not Han and Horner Vikings, it's about half Han and Horner Viking actually, but you know what, they tried. Alright, let's see. Looks like, yeah, those guys, I mean, they have to be tier 3 for carriers, but they don't have the tier 3 upgrades just yet. Are they just going to wipe over us? Yes, they are. That's unfortunate. Okay. Should I get the scan in here? I don't think they have any stealth things left over. No, they do not. Uh, we are not winning this ground. Oh dear. What has happened? Focus on the things shooting at you! Thank you, Vikings. Alright, scan. Just to make sure we don't lose track. There we go. Did he manually blink that forward to distract my Vikings? I only have four Vikings left. Alright, that's not a great stack. That's not a great stack at all. I need more Vikings. There we go. Man, they have a lot of aircraft this time from around. Oh dear. I need to... I cannot wait for the next wave to spawn. That way I can see my Vikings do more damage. Alright, uh, you need another Siege Breaker and you need another one of these. Of course, there are other options here, but most of the other options are better for damage. The one I'm building is specialized in uh, just taking hits. It's basically a giant walking tank, and it has some regen abilities. Eh, nothing too, nothing too serious. Uh, the real thing that makes it dangerous is the... Uh, well, actually, there's not a whole lot of, that makes it dangerous. It's the, the reason I'm getting is strictly for, strictly for the economic value. So there may come a point here where I have to switch up just for the sake of, uh, oh no, Widowmind's got on top of my Vikings, oh, jeez, that's a lot of splash damage, okay. Well, at least we unstacked their air, which is good. So the question I have now is, can we continue providing uncontested air superiority? And the answer is yes. There's only one carrier left, and then we'll take out all those guys. Let's go ahead and guarantee it. They will never never attempts to gain air superiority again. Not while we are around. There we go. I do want to go to tier 3, just get the extra upgrades on my, on my vehicles. Get plus 3-3. Three, three. Now the 3-3 three, three also helps the tanks. It doesn't really help any of my other forces, because I don't really have any other forces right now. Which is kind of, kind of saddening. I should invest more into ground. But they're just investing so much into the air. I, like, I think I'm causing them to panic. Like, look at this stack of Vikings. They're just so clipped into each other, you can't really tell what it is. It's just an amalgamate mass. Any more stealth things here? Nope. Very clear. Very good. And there are those stealth banshees coming out. Yeah, they're gonna go away. Oh, nope, well, that's a lot of... Okay, well, there go all of my Vikings. Good news is they can't do that a lot. It's only once every so often. Hmm. Yep. Alright, well, we were pushing... 
And then we we got slaughtered by a giant beam of doom. Okay, this is fine. Uh, I need more Vikings. No, you are not allowed to ever have this, guys. Oh, that's a lot of Mirages, and that's a lot of Mirages all stacked up there. I think they're going to take out our... Our... Yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, they'll take out our, our Hells Angels. The Super Vikings. But they will die horribly to our Vikings, because splash damage is a thing. There we go. Oh, well, here come the raids. There go the raids. Did he deny them the... Okay. You guys are not allowed to land. Yeah, do not fight the, the enemy Vikings on the ground, please. That's not a, not a good thing. Don't do that. Okay, those widow mines need to not be a thing. Um, how do how to stop? Okay, let's just put a couple marauders back here. Have them delayed. That way, they will stay in the back and try to make it to the front, where they hopefully encounter the widow mines and blow up the widow mines. There we go. How much? No, they got way too much support. Okay. Grip those guys. Now, I hope we can get to the, uh... I hope we don't get to the front line before our 3-3 kicks in. But I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Nope, nope. Definitely making the front line first. Well, rip the dream. But at least we'll kick... Oh! Oh no, we did make it! Nice! Okay. The stealths are here, so let's go ahead and kill that out. Our singular Duskwing just... It just dies instantly. Very good. Our Marauders also died horribly, which is unfortunate. And there's still a Widow Mine left, and that's going to deal a lot of a lot of work to the Vikings. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, we are one-shotting pretty much everything. And by that, I mean a single volley spread across the entire uh, mess of our Vikings is one-shotting everything. Except, well, it was. And then we lost enough Vikings to make it not true. But hey! Okay, no, you guys land. Please take out tank. Thank you. Oh dear, that's enough mirages to take out the Vikings. No, especially with Viking support. Fortune, Having Vikings on every available to every commander is just kind of brutal. I mean, some commanders are just really weak versus error, but they have strong ground forces. Um, no one's weak versus error when you have access to super Vikings. Oh jeez. Our Viking stack is just absolutely beautiful. Alright, we need to be scanned. No widow mines for you, please. Thank you. Oh. There was a wraith. Okay. Why are they targeting banshees over the thing shooting at them? Okay, this is fine. No, nope. stop landing! I just need to keep that disabled forever. Alright. You guys need another siege breaker, and you need another giant tank of doom. In fact, two of them, because I saved up enough for that, which is a mistake. All right, more Vikings. There we go. Eventually, I should be able to transition safely over to something like Banshees. Um, I'm not convinced that we can do that just yet because uh, we haven't, we're not clearing all of the skies forever, which is a concern. Okay, so that's starting to be a lot of ground forces out of blue. He's definitely getting enough ground forces to deal with my units. Question is, do my siege tanks? Yep. Okay. Well, siege tanks deal with. I, I lied. The the super speed sieging siege tanks just means that I don't have to really have units in front of my siege tanks. The siege tanks just kind of blow everything up, which is nice. It's uh, it's actually really nice. Yeah, and we're we're in the, we're we are actually winning the ground battle despite only having nothing but siege tanks down here. Yeah, it's it's working out really well. I'm okay with this. <laughs> So I'm not going to enable ground mode, despite us having like 28 of these Vikings left. I'm just going to have them run over here and clear out everything else. There we go. Now, how much of this do we actually clear out? Because we're destroying a Mirage per volley and triggering all the invulnerabilities on the ones next to them. But the, the Mirage just takes so long to destroy. Okay then, in that case, we can start working on Banshees back here. I think we're going that looked consistent enough for us to be able to invest into the the dusk wings how's this looking Ooh, we can get in siege tank but first let me pop a scan there we go clear out all of that oh yeah that's what we're looking for 
Look at those giant overpowered Vikings getting overpowered by regular Vikings. There we go. We just have so many boys. It is. I'm actually really tempted to not scan this wave because this wave has banished. Oh! You madman! Phoenix just took out 12 of my Vikings. Oh, the air splash, it hurts so much. Okay. You need to go here. You need to be here. <laughs> the Siege Breaker line. Uh, if I were to invest into more ground forces, we would have more effective Siege Breakers. Um, the question is whether or not I it is the appropriate, or at least the most efficient option. Uh, juggernaut plating just to have these guys tank a little bit more. Not that that's that big of a concern. Uh, uh, if, if I want to be tanky, I really should be using Marauders. Speaking of Marauders, yeah, I do have the upgrade for them. Okay, yeah, you guys need to be scanned, please. Thank you. The, the whole air stacking thing, it needs to stop. It really needs to stop. Okay. Okay, yeah, we need more Vikings. They stacked up again last wave, and it's it's it caused us some damage. Whew. We've won... Well, I, I don't want to say we won, but we survived, and they're pushing in with a lot of hybrid. Okay. So they stacked up a bunch of energy, haven't been using their hybrid, and I'm using it all at once now. Which is a very good strategy, highly recommend. Uh, in most cases, would definitely recommend over what I'm doing. Uh, which, in this case, for me, is just building more Vikings. Oh dear. I think I'm going to need a little bit more ground force to keep my siege tanks alive this time. You're good, siege tanks? Nope, they're just having a panic attack going back and forth. Preemptive scan for the line of sight. Oh, those mirages take so long to eliminate. Okay. I'm not even going to scan, as I want them to focus on things that are not cloaked right now. Namely, these line of Vikings. Nope. Nope. They, uh... Looks like they focused on the mirages instead of the Vikings, so that's bad. Okay. So I think I just gotta stop scanning, that way they stop shooting at the uh, Banshees and things that shouldn't be shot at first. For whatever reason, they're prioritizing ban my Vikings are prioritizing Banshees instead of, uh, well, the things that can shoot back at them. So I don't, I don't want that to be happening. Do I get the fourth gas? I don't know. You know what we can get? We can get the Hyperion. Hyperion should solve a lot of our uh, tankiness issues. Go ahead and disable this real quick. Yeah, I'm not going to scan purposefully. There we go. That way we focus on everything else. There it is. There we go. Now we're cleaning things up. And I think we're going to have enough Vikings left to deal with blue. Because blue only has like four wraiths. And yeah, the wraiths hurt. But not nearly as much as this line of Vikings. So I want them to fire at the stop. Shooting the banshees! My teammate wave spawns. My teammate has detection. So he's shooting at everything that they shouldn't be shot at. Okay. Alright, time for the Hyperion. Uh, let's just one turn. Alright, there we go. Just toss you out here. That'll give plus two damage to all of my units, as well as a couple other goodies. Namely, a big, big tank that exists out in front. That's kind of a big part of it. Uh, I'm disabling the, the Yamato Cannon, because I want it to manual cast every time. I've also disabled it here, though I plan on re-enabling it here eventually. That way I can get standard battle cruises and have them auto-cast the Yamato Cannon while I manual cast the uh, Hyperion Yamato Cannon every time. Did you? Okay, you set. So I can go ahead and enable you, and because he's not set to auto-cast, that won't be good today. Okay, so I gotta wait for... I don't want to use it on the Mirages because it, uh... Well, the Mirages will go invulnerable. I do want to use it, however, on a group of Vikings over here. There you go. Just toss it up before you die. Thank you. Uh, that wasn't an ideal use, but that will help us a little bit. There we go. Alright, now you can clear out all these things. Now there's just a couple units left. Very, very good. Alright. You know what could really help out here? A whole line of medics. That'll mess up a lot of stuff. Go ahead and get these guys going. Um... I'm still at a resource deficit. You can see here this flashing. It's draining all of my resources, so I don't I don't want to be um don't want to be 
gathering resources via the mercenary route right now because they're just gonna be just gonna get sucked away. So I, I kind of just have to wait. This is the penalty of using that mass resource drop tactic. Are we good? We're good. So let me go ahead and drop once more to get tier four. There we go. Let's see if we can't bring out tier four before a before a wave arrives. Go ahead and drop this guy. Get up the next tier four. There we go. And these siege things hurt so much. It's so much damage, guys. It's actually ridiculous. I can see they still have the stealth units there. I want to clear this guy's first before switching to stealth destruction. All three of those enemy Vikings just went down in one volley. Alright, good. Now we clean with those. Ah, beautiful. Where's their mojo? Is he there? Nope, nope. I tried to click on him, but he uh, disappeared. No, you madmen with the beam of doom. How many kills does this thing actually have? It's the only reason they're still in the game, boys. Calling it now. Alright, so we want medics. And I explicitly want the medics in the back line so they don't die horribly to all the splash damage and all the things that would come hunting them like these banshees. Oh, jeez. There's no way this Hyperion has much in the way of damage output. <laughs> it does so much damage, but my lord. It, um... Hmm. It just... There's so much anti-air in the skies right now. It just... I don't suspect it would survive at all for any amount of reasonable time. Okay. Let's bring these down. We have no detection available, which is good for the moment. Bring down all the Vikings, please. Come on, we can do it. Oh, look at that splash damage. Oh, that's beautiful. Very good. Oh, -ho! the Widow Mines. Okay. Well, I need to. I need to really invest in some of the ground units here. Uh, medics. only way to protect my vikings right now is to have the ground units to stop those widow miners from hitting because they do so much damage even if it doesn't kill off all of my vikings like i have just enough ground forces to prevent the widow mines from completely killing off my vikings in their entirety but just one more of those of those widow mines is just gonna it's, it's gonna do horrible horrible things because it only takes like two widow mine hits to completely destroy the uh the line of the line of vikings like all of them the splash damage adds up that much. Right, so far, I've only gotten hit by one, maybe two. So if he gets more, we're gonna have a problem. But for now, we're we're okay. Go to medics, go in here. Oh, we have no detection, which is good for us right now. Yeah, all of this mess here. We just need to AOE that into the oblivion, please. Okay, get away from the detected. All of my Vikings turning to hit the the detect. Oh, rip that stack. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I... Oh, with the... Hmm. He does have the splash damage in the form of the secret missile. And I think that's what did it here. He actually also has a lot of liberators, which is... That is actually enough liberators to burn down an entire wave. Uh, so the medics are here. Let's go ahead and get some more of these guys out. There we go. I am going to want to be getting some infantry armor sooner or later. Right now, I just kind of want more Vikings, more air superiority. Also, tier, the next strike level weapon is coming up. The 30-minute uh, one. This is going to be... This is a long match, for sure. Alright. Rub that out. Oh, those mirages. We cannot let these mirages live. They take up so much time, boys. So much time. And here comes another max here. This red hybrid behemoth is the biggest biggest hybrid available. Oh! There are the widow mines we were talking about, and suddenly all of my Vikings are gone. Okay. Hmm, yeah, this is the problem. How much energy did we save up? Fair amount. Let's go ahead and get a bunch of you guys out here. Actually, let's move them this way. These are the biggest boys, the ones that you want to be saving up for. If you're gonna be saving up for any, they come in for a mass. Uh, let's get the siege tanks out here. Put them right here, here, here. There we go. That'll give us a lot more resources. And get a lot more Vikings out of it. And also more Marauders. Because I want more Marauders. Because those Widow Mines are horrible! I should put them on the other side. Ah, the Hyper Vicky must have carry us, carry us on the other side for now. There we go. One, two, three. Let's see, how does this work out? 
Teammates raid liberators. They are not at, they're in anti-ground mode. So they're taking out the siege tanks right now, but not the aircraft, which is okay. There it is. You guys delay all that for the moment, please. Thank you. There we go. I need to scan here. Yeah. Alright, our Vikings mostly survived the uh the the widow mine nonsense. Credit the uh hybrids for that. Scan again. Even our happy man survived that, which is kind of kind of surprising. He does have the Yamato cannon available, so we'll have to come back to that. All right, clear these skies, please. We still have a lot of Viking. Yeah, it's more than thirty. And they are clearing up. Oh, I think we got all the mirages. Oh, I still only count two mirages left. Let's only count two mirages left. Nice. Very good. Okay. Where are some more of these guys? We have those there, here, here. I'm trying to spread them out that way they don't clump up too much against the Widow Mines. I am going to need to actually use detection here, though. We cannot let those Widow Mines just walk on top of us like that. That's way too many Widow Mines to allow to hit our Vikings. Yes, our Vikings are going to be delayed. The Laser Beam of Doom again! That thing is... Mm. The good news is I think we have so many Vikings that it can't actually take them out all out. It's just our stack is that heavy. I'm not going to be able to use a Yamato Cannon here. I'm just going to die before. Yeah, if I, had, if I had tried to use a Yamato Cannon, my uh, Hyperion would have it would have put it on cooldown, and then the Hyperion would have died horribly. Okay. Ground Forces. I'm just going to start saving up energy again, uh, but I will be getting these Siege Breakers. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Not sure how well these will help. I don't think well at all. But maybe a few extra mines in the mix, spider mines may help. At least um, uh, against the stack, against them stacking. They don't seem to have a whole lot of surviving detection of their own. You can tell by things like these covert banshees have been consistently surviving. I suspect it's because we have so much anti-air that all of their... Uh, look at all the widow mines. That literally all of their detection disappear. Yeah, there we go. Looks like our siege tanks just slaughtered all of those widow mines. As long as we can keep those widow mines in check, they will not be able to take us down. Ah, uh, the widow mine not in check. Oh dear. Oh, it does so much damage every hit. It's actually brutal. Let's scan here. And we've a fairly consistent amount of uh, Vikings survive this, which is, you know, it's nice. This is honestly the longest match I've seen in a long time. How are there... Okay. I was about to be extremely surprised about how the uh, giant walking laser beam giraffe survived that. But I, I, it's not necessary to be surprised. Let me go ahead and get the upgrades here. Just for just for the infantry armor. We don't care that much about damage. We don't have that many infantry. Uh, I do want the medic HP as well as armor up should be good. Okay, this is a good game. This is a very good game. Win or lose, this one is definitely going on the channel. Any other upgrades I need here? Movement speed, mediocre. Eh, don't care about movement speed. I want my I want to stack up with the team if at all possible. Uh scan. Okay. Figure that out. Even our banshees survived a long time. That's nice. Uh just scanning here just for the uh, line of sight reasons. Where is their mojo? Right here. Please make him go away. Thank you. Wow, you have a lot of armor. Armor and the damage reduction. Is he actually going to survive? Okay. Please don't survive. We are... <laughs> we are the king of Vikings now. Okay. Mm. Yep. Alright. Do I want more medics? Solid maybe. How are these guys doing? They actually have a kill back here. They actually have a couple kills as Marauders, which is impressive. Alright. I think we just lost our detection up front. So go ahead and scan. There it is. Figure all that out. Siege tanks, please clear out the Widow Mines. Don't let the Widow Mines hit. 
Oh, that was close. That was so close. What are my frames at? Uh, sitting at 10 FPS right now, staring at this battle. That's kind of uh, actually surprising. I would expect there to be less less frame rate right now than 10. But hey, you know, good computers, good computer. Oh, the splash damage. All right. Next strike weapons has been purchased. Some more attack speed, which means more scaling for us because splash damage is broken. Looks like my teammate's trying to do a push with a bunch of these hybrid behemoths. Uh, ideally, we coordinate with the team to all use our masses of hybrid behemoths all at once. I still forgot. I keep forgetting about the Hyperion. Like the Yamato cannon, it's nice. Oh, that's a lot of mirages. If only I could hit that group of mirages, because it was so stacked up, just blow them all away at once. Fortunately, my teammate has a bunch of raid liberators and did the same thing. <laughs> there it is. Right, all the Widow Mines appear to be using their payloads. Right, scan. Okay, that's a lot of... Oh, yeah, those went away. Let's go ahead and just do this right here. Get rid of some of those Vikings. Took out four of them, which is good. That's that many less shots to worry about. And we're on the base. If siege tanks get on the base, this is over. My ground isn't that strong aside from the siege tanks. Hmm. Oh, are we gonna have to land here? Land! Land! Vikings! Time to land! Do your damage! Go on! Get on the base! Get on the base! Okay, well, they're in the air anyways. Alright, well, rip them. Oh, well, there goes that beam again. Alright, uh, in that case, time for time for a hybrid push then, shall we? I'm gonna put you guys over here for sure. And more siege breakers, please. There we go. That just gave us so much resources, you guys. I don't know if I can spend it all in time. I cannot. I am too slow. This is fun. Uh, another push like that and we'll be alright. So they just used their energy beam, so they can't use the energy beam again to save themselves. Um, not sure if they need to be saved, though, because they seem to be doing decent, decent work. Uh, they just unstacked us. So don't have that to work with. Uh, I don't have Yamato Cannon here to get that extra burst damage. Uh, but we do st we do still have this massive amount of Vikings, which just kind of washes over everything. If you guys are wondering who is the supreme late game air to air commander, the answer is Raynor. Raynor actually beats everything in the air. Uh, I suppose this is not too big of a surprise, considering all of my enemies have gone nothing but anti air, at least mostly anti air, the entirety of the game, and I'm washing over them quite quite handily. Honestly, the only reason I can get away with this is because siege breakers are so strong. Especially with the uh, the Rainer speed upgrade. It allows me to strongly contest, if not win, the ground while also just doing this nonsense with the Vikings. We're almost out of airspace with how many Vikings we have in the sky. Which is uh, kind of a lot. i just scan real quick, just to provide detection before I get my charges back. Alright, charges are returned. Very good. Uh... So this is good. Uh, last time we arrived, my teammate didn't have anything. We got completely unstacked. This time we arrived, and my teammate had some some liberators left, and a couple of Vikings. Not that those lasted very long. All right, now clear these out. Good, good boys. See, we still have liberators left alive, and that's kind of important, uh, mostly because they do a lot of groundwork. Okay, okay, but. I realize that Phoenix doesn't have that good of an air splash setup. Like, he just doesn't have options. Like, he only has, what is it, two options for air splash? But, oh, jeez. Does it, does it hurt? Yeah, I can't land, I can't land my Vikings here. I have to, uh, can't do that. I should lip scanned. Weapons prime. Ready to there we go. Ready to like right. this. Oof. No, I'll save those up, but I will put a Siege Breaker down before the wave spawns. There we go. Neat. <sighs> this is... this is fun. This is... this is what I like. Seeing these massive battles come in. You need a scan, don't you? Yes, you do, my friend. Alright, how much damage... nope, they're all gonna turn into anti-ground mode. Okay, well, understandable. Alright, Vikings, come in here clean everything up, please. <laughs> I like how my ground... 
my t my opponent, my counterpart here, blue, has so many air forces that my ground units are actually starting to deal notable damage to the enemy base. Right, scan, please. There we go. Now, we should be able to fly over this wave. Come on, fly over the wave. There we go. And then prepare to land. Have three seconds left. Land, 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 land. Get on the base, get on the base, get on the base, get on the base, get on the base. Do it, do it, do it. No, I forgot to disable the air mode. Not that it would have made that much of a difference, I don't think. Do I have you mod? I don't have you mod or cannon available. Oh! Got it! GG! Alright guys, if you like this brawl, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we have more videos about this brawl coming out soon. But for now, I'll see you guys later!